Hello everybody, Uniquely Lady Charlotte. <clears throat> Merry Christmas to everyone. As you can see, I still haven't done my hair, but I'm going to get right on it. As soon as I get home, I'm going to start on it. Hottie Scotty and I are in the car. He ain't going to say nothing because we just left the casino and we wasn't even in there long enough to even make a video. So we didn't do well. Tried to make magic happen, but it just didn't happen. Hundred dollars don't go for so far. Tried to make it work out, didn't work out. And then I noticed a few things at the at the casino. Um, when you're playing and you up and you up, I wasn't up no time today, okay? But when you up, people just come from nowhere and they just stand behind you. And they just watch you. And they had them beer cups. They just be swirling it around watching you. And they all, good job. That was a good hit. That was real good. Yeah. Massaging your shoulders and stuff. You, if I were you, I'd take it up. I, I'd go up. I always got all the advice in the world. But then you had to ask yourself, why are you standing behind me watching me play? Why are you not on a machine? Right. Because they done spun out. I'm from the country. Spun. You spun out. Well, we, not, we, we never got a chance to get a crowd. We couldn't even get, get nobody to pass by and, and, and just say, oh, because there was nothing to, oh, at. So now we're going back up the road, back to Concord. Drove 40 minutes to get here, 40 minutes back. Busted and disgusted. Just trying to come up. Just trying to come up for Christmas. Just trying to come up. Didn't happen. Something else I noticed at the casinos, well, this casino, well, I've been to one other casino. Um, you guys remember when my daughter, Candy Kane, got married. We went to Las Vegas, and uh, you guys were really, really great. Thank you again for all the, the financial support you sent me to play the games. But I noticed here that when you win, then here come the attendants. And they kind of just linger around. So they watch the person count your money out. Okay, that wasn't Scotty and I. We watched them count somebody else's money out. They wasn't counting nothing to us. But uh, they count your money out to you. It's called a hand pay. All right, so they count that out to you. You know, 100, 200, 300, 400. By this time, you're salivating 500, 600, whatever. But then here comes another attendant. Security or, um, like I said, another attendant. Even the drink girl or drink guy. Next thing you know, you got about six or seven of them standing around, you know, hoping that you give them a tip. I understand if you want to be generous. I understand that. I get it. I understand. But my problem come in at, where were you at when I was losing? You wasn't rubbing my back, massaging my shoulders. You didn't pull up a stool to sit and cry with me. You didn't offer me no hope. Show me no love or support, but the minute I hit, I'm imagining that the minute I hit, then here you can come with your hand down or with your cup. I personally right now feel, by the way I've seen it go down, I'm not giving a tip unless I feel like if you've been attentive to me, kept bringing me sodas, you know, kept checking on me, hey, hey, hey. But you just being security or the person that's going to get my money, because I put in enough money to win, I guess. You know, if I put in a thousand, well, Gosh, I don't, you know, bad that, but I'm just saying, if I done spun a thousand, we'll say in two weeks' time, and then I finally hit, I get twelve hundred back, hand pay, thirteen hundred hand pay. Why should I have to give you any money? Where were you? I just got back what I spent within the last two weeks. I ain't up. I'm just getting back what I spent already. And then you bring your buddy over, and they standing around with you. And smiling and good job and uh, uh, uh. I saw a guy this was when the casino first opened I saw a guy he hit the grand on some type of links game he hit the grand he won twelve thousand dollars he said I can't believe I hit it I've been playing this game for five years this dude was playing on fifteen twenty dollars a spin he said I've been playing this for five years I can't believe I hit he said, the day alone, I spent $6,000, and I finally got it. Well, I'm calculating that. Y'all hear any snoring? That's how this guy is snoring. So I calculated that up. I'm like, you've been playing for five years. 
you spending today, you spending fifteen, twenty dollars a spin. You spent six thousand dollars today. You won twelve. You got to pay taxes on it. You're still down. But I ain't gonna tell you how much you spent in the five years. You're still down. And then he had like eight attendants standing around him. When he was playing and wasn't winning, you know, it wasn't doing well, they walked by, offered a soda, and it wasn't directly to him. It's, anybody thirsty? Anybody thirsty? Would you like a soda? Anybody need anything? It was just so dead and monotone. Like, this is a job. And you just keep on moving. But the minute he hit, and that attendant had to go get his $12,000 and count it out to him, you saw security over there. It didn't take six or seven security officers. They were guarding the doors at first. And, and they're in the bathroom, the men's bathroom. They're not in the women's bathroom, but they're in the men's bathroom constantly. And then he got extra happy, and he gave all of them a $100 bill. He gave some people that were sitting beside him playing the game a $100 bill. You still down, and then you passed out. He probably passed out a $1,000. So now you got 11 but you got to pay taxes on 12 I'm just saying. Don't look for me to give you anything unless I want to. I'm not going to be forced. I'm not going to be uh, a guilt tripped because I know how much I put in if I ever, you know, win something like that. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you. Saw today, a little while ago, saw today a guy who was playing on 88 Cent. The guy ended up making $500 on 88 Cent. He was so happy. We were happy for him. You know, because you're sitting beside us down a little bit, so we're happy for you. The lady that was wiping off the machines, <clears throat> she couldn't even wipe no more machines. She was standing there, oh, that's good. That is great. You got a lot of money. Oh, and he was so excited. He was like, yeah, yeah. He was an older dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You know, I'm happy. I can't believe it hit like this. And she just lingering, lingering. The conversation should have long been over, but she was still lingering. I'm like, oh, she want him to go in his pocket and give us some money. You're not doing nothing. You're wiping down the machines like you're supposed to, like they pay you to do. You, you're wiping the machines. But she was right there trying to, just trying to fish for a tip, just fishing for it. He didn't give it that. Finally, she went on about her business. So that's what I've noticed. You got a nice little crowd when they, when you're winning, and then you get paid out. They just, they just come from nowhere, just come from nowhere and stay like they're standing in line, hoping you give them some money. Am I wrong for not wanting to give all the security and, and the drink people and, the, you know, the person that bring me my money? I won. I put in enough money. Am I wrong for not wanting to tip them? Would you tip them? Seven, eight people, and you ain't seen them the whole time you were sitting there losing. You ain't seen them. Then all of a sudden, you start winning. And here they come. The lady come to bring you your money. All I know, she telling them, hey, uh, I got a hand pay out here. Oh, do you? I'm going to walk with you. Why? Why are you walking with me? Why? Why'd you bring your buddy? That's what get your cousin down. Don't bring your buddy over. Give me my money and get going. Lingering. Standing by. Or, or if they see where you're about to get a hand pay. I've seen security do this and the attendants. I've seen them. Um, you see somebody doing real good in a bonus and they're doing real good. It's like, oh, okay. They're still in the bonus. They got all these spins. They're getting ready to hit, you know, a hand pay because you see they're already right at $1,000 and and they still got more spins. You're like, yeah, that's getting ready to be a hand pay. Okay, then you see security start inching closer. Or the little person that's wiping the machines down, coming over, just kind of lingering around, standing around, waiting, because they know your spin's about to be over. And they got, the attendant's gonna have to come because the machine's gonna you know, alert the attendant to come and give you your money. Then they just kind of lie and wait. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Anyway, tell me what you think. Would you pay? Would you give them a tip? They wasn't there the whole time you were losing and ready to sell your house, done sold your house. They probably pawned out your car. Oh, there goes my exit. And I'm way over here. I might can, if I strategically move about, I might can, I might can get over here. Okay, let me get in here, let me get in here. Let me get in here, okay, everybody. Let me get in here, watch everybody. Okay, whew, whew, that was dangerous come up so fast. Anyway, y'all tell me what you think. What would you do? Would you leave a tip? If you would, why? If you don't, tell me why. I may be wrong. And y'all may be able to convince me that I'm wrong and not see the arrow of my ways. But anyway, hit me up. Let me know what you think. All right, bye.